At last, the great absence has been corrected. A day of victory is at hand. A day of taxes. A day of the chip. COVID's attempt on my life has left me scarred and deformed. But I assure you, my resolve has never been stronger. In order to ensure the entertainment value of this channel, Modern Taxes has been reorganized. This is my companion, Karuga the Macro Sage. Karuga the Macro Sage is a 5 4 legendary creature dinosaur hippo. When Karuga the Macro Sage enters the battlefield, we draw a card for each permanent we control with a converted mana cost of three or greater. So hopefully once we've stalled our opponents out with our taxes for long enough, we can get Karuga down and generate a massive amount of card advantage. But to run as our companion, our starting deck must contain only cards with mana value three or greater and land cards. This means our traditional taxing pieces have been replaced with Chancellor of the Annex, Vring Windmare, and Anointed Peacekeeper to make sure we're not being overrun in the early game. We're running Quasali Ambusher, which if we control a plains and a forest when a creature attacks us, we can play it for free as if it had flash. Solitude can remove powerful creatures, and in combination with Touch the Spirit Realm's channel ability, we can remove two creatures and keep its 3-2 body. And to spice up the removal a bit, I'm playtesting Leyline Binding. It's a flash o-ring effect that gets cheaper for each basic land type amongst lands we control. So for one mana, we might be able to exile anything at instant speed. And this is the deck list. A fun band taxes deck that if we can play our companion, can recoup the cards we lose. I will leave the full deck list down in the description. Now before we get to the games, I'd just like to remind everybody that if you enjoy this type of video by leaving a like, that lets me know this is more of the content you'd like to see. And I would appreciate it because this voice really hurts my throat. Do it. Also, if you are new here and not subscribed, please subscribe. It helps the channel grow and keeps the content coming. Do it. And now, young Taxa, you will watch the gameplay. Round one. Alrighty, Karuga Taxes. Let's reveal Karuga. Mm. This doesn't have any of our cheeky cards in it, but it's a good interactive hand. So we're gonna keep Mishra's Factory into an Aether Vial. Interesting. Hmm. Let's play Hallowed Fountain tapped and pass. Opponent's Aether Vial ticking up. They play a Plains. Oh dear. Is the first match gonna be a Taxes Mirror? You and I are not so different. Leona and Arbiter, that shuts off all our fetching. Yeah, probably should have led with the fetch, but that's okay. Go to my turn. Another copy of Hallowed Fountain. Okay. Well, let's play Plains and pass the turn there. Opponent's Aether Vial ticking up. They play a Plains. Animating the Mishra's Factory. Swings in for four. I think we just take it. End step. Do, do we want to do anything end step? We could touch the Spirit Realm, the Arbiter. I don't hate it. All right. Touch the Spirit Realm, the Arbiter. Okay. Play Flooded Strand. We're going to crack it now. If they have another Arbiter in the can, then they've played into our trap. Yep. They activate Aether Vial. That is another Arbiter. And now we Petty Theft it. Awesome. Think we're going for the Savi Triome here. And then we just pass the turn. Touch Spirit Realm brings back their Arbiter, their Aether Vial, activating in the upkeep, putting down the other Leonin Arbiter. Yep. Hoping they haven't drawn a Ghost Quarter or a Field of Ruin. Just animating the Mistress Factory. Okay. Swinging in for four. We will take it and go to my turn. Chancellor's a bit late. Hmm. Let's play our anointed peacekeeper. Path to exile, hey? That really hurts my feelings. <laughs> 
Ah, past exile. We're doomed. Well, we might as well name it. Play the hallowed fountain tapped. Pass the turn there. Eighth of all staying on three. Planes from our opponent. Yep, that's the path to exile. That gets us nothing. Animate the Mishra's factory. Swing in for six. So we're down to five. Go to our turn. That is a land. I think that might be the best land we could have drawn, actually. So we'll play that. Enters tapped. Skyclave apparition. Take out an arbiter. Pass it to them. Keeping eighth of all on three. Swinging in for two. Sure, I'll block. That works. Awesome. Stone Forge Mystic. Okay. Tutors up. Caldra complete. Looks like a great target for our Leyline binding. I have the Lion Sash too. Hmm. Okay. Go to our turn. Solitude's a great pickup. Okay. So I think I think Solitude's how we win here. So I think it's just a pass. So do we take out the Stoneforge Mystic with the Solitude Strand, the Caldra in hand for a few turns? And then what? Because I can pump up the Lion Sash. One, two, three, four. It's lethal. Yeah, okay. We got a pass. All right. They take out Skyclave. Activate Stone. Stoneforge puts Calder into play. Goes to combat, swinging with the team. So then let's Leyline Binding take out the Caldra Complete Artifact. They're eating with the Lion Sash. So now, yeah, we kind of have to Solitude. Chance for the Annex gets exiled. Solitude comes down, takes out the Lion Sash. We'll take the two down to three. Another copy of Stoneforge Mystic is brutal. Batter Skull. Yep. All right. In the end step, we're going to cast this Brazen Borrower. The Skyclave Apparition help. Probably not more than a Timeless Dragon right now. So let's go to combat. Attack for three because we have to. Well, we can't block. And then I think we're dead. If our opponent just swings all out with their man land. Yeah, we're dead, I think. Um, yeah, let's just scoop it up. They got us. No way for us to get around that. All right. Foundation Breakers in. Vanquish the Horde in. Temporary Lockdowns in. What do we cut in this matchup? Timeless Dragons aren't great. I could see cutting a few Vring Wing Mares, seeing as their attacks list as well. Um, hmm. I don't know what to cut. Let's get rid of one Chancellor. Run it back like that. All right, let's go first. Let's reveal our Karuga. Let's keep this one. Windswept Heath. Pass. Planes from our opponent. Eighth of Isle. Yep. Go to my turn. Hmm. Play Windswept Heath. Crack Windswept Heath. Temple Garden. Pay two life. Crack the other Windswept Heath. It's just a Planes. I think it's just a Planes. Yeah. Evoke our Foundation Breaker. Take out their Artifact. Pass the turn there. Giver of Runes. Okay. Ooh. Opponent kept the one lander. Let's play a Hallowed Fountain. I will pay two life. Pass the turn there. They did hit the second land. There's the Stone Forge. So how do we do this now? Petty Theft the giver of runes here stoneforge mystic resolves they do get the caldra go to our turn leyline binding is amazing here let's play arid misa pass the turn yeah let's just pass activate stoneforge down comes caldra and they attack so how much is leyline binding three yeah okay i don't need to crack my fetch just yet cast leyline binding take out the artifact crack the arid misa we're gonna get a hallowed fountain tap temporary lockdown's pretty good play the planes yeah let's Let's, let's get, do we get Karuga to hand or do we just cast Solitude deal with this Stoneforge Mystic now? Let's get Karuga. I came here to get Karuga and cast Solitudes and I currently have both. What? Doesn't really work for the reference. I came here to get Karugas and Chancellor people and I'm all out of Chancellors. Makes sense. The Onan Relic Water. Okay. Now that's cool. Yep. So that's going to eat our Leyline Binding, getting them back their Caldra. Now they go to combat. Swings in with both. Well, Quizali Ambusher cast without paying its mana cost. Now I go to Blockers, take out the Stoneforge. I'm just going to eat the five damage. They play a Ghost Quarter. Okay. Temporary Lockdown. Yep. Takes out the Relic Water, gives us back our Leyline Binding, which takes out their Caldra. Go to combat and attack for two. Pass the turn there. Planes. Archon of Amiria. Yes, very fair. So Arid Mesa is going to enter tap. Let's run out Anointed Peacekeeper here. And then I think next turn we're going to Karuga. Oh, they had the path. I will use Path's ability to get a Planes. Path to Exile, Giver of Runes, and Leon and Arbiter. Hmm. So, I mean, I have to name Path. Mom's ever named Arbiter. This game is complicated. Okay, let's name Path to Exile. Play Arid Mesa tapped past the turn there. Okay, so we know their hand. They played another Ghost Quarter. They swing in for two. 
We're just going to take it. Yep, that's the Arbiter. Now we go to our turn, I think. Oh, a temporary lockdown might be interesting. So we can use that as a follow up. So what if we pay two life, take out the Archon? No, pay two mana, crack the Arid Mesa, take out the Archon. Then we're pretty much guaranteed to lose two lands, but I think that's fine. But we can do that at instant speed. So then let's pass the turn. No attacks. Okay, opponent goes to combat. So I could run out the Brazen Borrower and then they'll spend their turn pathing it. No, so this is the Solitude turn. Let's just get ourselves a Plains, I think. Cast Solitude. Take out the Archon of Amiria. I would... Hmm. I wonder how many planes we got left. Was it none? I think we have none. That's the giver of runes. All right, this temporary lockdown will do what I wanted it to do. We go to our turn. Touch the spirit realm. Hello. Temporary lockdown. Path to exile on my solitude. Do I want to save it? Um, I'm going to pay the arbiter thing and I'm going to let it go. I don't think I have any more lands. Yeah, I have no more lands, but we take out their board, swing in for three, and then we use touch the spirit realm on our peacekeeper. Okay, it's going to come back. We're going to get another look at their hand. Oh, they're doing the ghost quarter now. Opponent is clever. So no, we won't use its ability. Stoneforge Mystic. So do we name that? Yeah, let's name Stoneforge Mystic. Pass the turn to them. Hope they don't draw a land. They ghost quarter our blue source. Okay, I won't search. And they cast Flicker Wisp. Okay, what are you flickering? Leyline Binding is a good choice. Yep, gets back the germ. So now I have to block. Interesting. And so now I need something to deal with Flicker Wisp. So I need a blue land or a removal spell. All right, Leyline Binding comes back. Um, Yeah, we'll just take out the Caldra Complete equipment here. Go to my turn. That is indeed a blue land, but it'll kill us. So then that would be the game yeah they got us i feel like i missequenced some land drops there but yeah that's it they got us fought the good fight and we lost round two all right we've lost the die roll for round two let's reveal karuga this one's a mulligan think we can keep this one what do we put back i think it's wingmare all right razor verge thicket to ignoble hierarch okay let's play a hallowed fountain tapped pass the turn there windswept heath they crack it get themselves a plains magus of the moon Okay, we can play around that a little. Go to my turn, play Windswept Heath and pass. And it plays a Windswept Mountain. Swings in for three. Am I going to take it? Yeah, I'm going to, because then they're still kind of trapped under their own manner, I think. Seasoned Pyromancer. Okay, discards Fury and Angrad's Marauders. Okay, so this is a Winota deck. Go to the end step. Plane cycle, my Timeless Dragon. Just get at myself for planes. Play my planes. Let's just pass the turn again. They play a Forest. How much they swing in for now quite a bit so let's solitude ditching the peacekeeper take out the magus let solitude go away they're cracking windswept heath yeah stomping ground tapped i think we just take the rest of it for now right. let's crack the windswept heath get ourselves another planes go to our turn blooded strand crack it get ourselves a planes timeless dragon as a 4-4 pass it there wooded foothills skyclave apparition can't take anything of mine non-token opponent read it right read it right is swinging with the season pyro i will block okay they pass to us hmm let's play hallowed fountain i will pay two life i'm gonna run out the timeless dragon number two opponent cracks the wooded foothills it's a temple garden tapped okay i think we wait a turn before we attack pass it there forest is this the Winota? It is. Okay. So now they go to the beginning of combat. We cast Solitude. Would have loved to have been able to hard cast it, but we couldn't. Let's take out Winota. Winota down. Solitude goes away. No attacks and they pass to us. Hallowed Fountain. Let's play that tapped. Let's get Karuga to hand. Think it's time to attack. We'll swing in for five. They take it down to 18. Pass the turn there. Wooded Foothills. They crack it. Get themselves a mountain. Season Pyromancer tokens. Okay. No attacks. It's Petty Theft, a token. Go to our turn. Anointed Innkeeper. Let's run that out. See what our opponent's got. Skyclave Apparition. Okay, let's name Skyclave. Hmm. Yeah, let's name Skyclave. Let's go to combat. Swing in for five. Pass the turn there. Okay, opponent casts a very expensive Skyclave. Takes out our Peacekeeper. Unfortunate. Goes to combat. Getting frisky. Um. So we take out the Skyclave Apparition because if they have a Bone Crusher Giant, they'll take out the Tireless, the Timeless Dragon token, and then our Brazen Borrow is fine. So we're going to take three here. Yep, their Skyclave's gone. All right, let's cast Brazen Borrower. Yep, they end the Timeless Dragon token. That's fine. Saw that one coming. Brazen Borrower is down. Wazali Ambusher is not great right now, but might be after we 
draw. So let's go for it. We're gonna run out Karuga. It's what we came here to do. Okay, we're gonna draw two cards. Okay, they're not terrible. They're not great. Um, so now we go to combat and we attack 4-3. Pass the turn there. All right, so as long as it's not Winota this turn. Voice of Resurgence, yep, that's fine. Any attacks opponent? No attacks. Okay, go to my turn. That is a Windswept Heath. So I think we play that. So we have eight power in the air that they can't stop. And how much do we need to block? We're on six. So we just need to block one thing, which I can take out with Leyline Binding. Swing with everything. One token in front of the Karuga. Okay, let's crack the Windswept Heath. It's got to be Sapatra's headquarters, I guess. Leyline Binding, take out Skyclave Apparition, score ourselves a blocker, and it all comes down to the opponent's top deck. What you got, opponent? Bolt doesn't do it. Don't think Fury does it either. Right, takes out our blue creatures, goes to combat, swings in for four. Am I missing something? Not that I can see, so I'll take it. Both players down to one, go to my turn, go to combat, attack in the air for five. Oh, <laughs> and we got there. All right, that was a nail biter. Okay, so against this, vanquish the horde, definitely, 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 temporary lockdown as well. Um, Foundation breaker, is that of any help? I don't think so. So we'll just run those. I don't think Ring Wing Mare is doing very much here. And so I'll take out one of the anointed peacekeepers as well. And we'll just run it back like that. All right, reveal Karuga. It's good, but I hate it. I guess we have to keep Windswept Heath. They crack it. Stomping ground, untapped. Birds of Paradise. Go to my turn. Flooded Strand, pass. Windswept Heath. They crack it. Temple Garden, untapped. Another Birds of Paradise. Ignoble Hierarch. Ignoble Hierarch. Okay. It's Crack Flooded Strand. Savi Triome. Windswept Heath. Pass. Goblin Rabble Master's fine. Another Goblin Rabble Master. Okay. Getting a little annoying. Makes two 1-1 one, one Goblins with haste. Swings in. All right. Well, we'll crack the Windswept Heath. Get ourselves a Temple Garden. No, I would not like to pay two life. You triggered my trap card! Quizali Ambusher comes down. Block a Goblin. Go to my turn. So how much does Leyline Binding cost? Costs two currently. So we have to run out the Spara's headquarters and we have to wait. So we'll just pass the turn there. Their Goblin Rebel Masters have to attack. Okay, four mana. That is the Winota. Okay, beginning of combat has started. Leyline Binding, take out Winota. All right, now they swing in with a lot of power. Oof, six twos. Well, we're going to block one of them and then we're going to take nine. We're down to eight. Weesh, another copy of Ignoble Hierarch. Wow, we might just lose to Birds of Paradise attacks here. Another ambusher is great. So let's play Planes, Skyclave Apparition, take out the Rabble Master, I guess. Or do we take out the Hierarchs? No, we got to take out the Rabble Master. Pass it there. Hope they don't see the Birds of Paradise line. Yeesh. Okay, they did see it. Um. Okay, well, I'm not blocking it this turn. I will just take three down to five. Go to my turn. Another ambusher is great. Hallowed Fountain tap. Skyclave Apparition, take out an Ignoble Hierarch. Opponent has a bolt for the other Skyclave Apparition. Okay, probably should have just saved that for our face. Skyclave Apparition to take out our Skyclave Apparition. Yep, goes to combat. Okay, swinging like that. So we cast the Ambusher, we cast the Ambusher. So we could go down to one, but keep both our Ambushes, potentially draw one of our sideboard cards that could clean this up. Okay, so what if we chump here, block one of these, take two down to three, draw Solitude, we could draw our board wipes. All right, let's go to blockers. Um, I think it is just best to block like this, take four down to one and hope our top deck saves us. Down to one. What did we draw? Interesting. Play Hallowed Fountain tapped, get Karuga to hand pass the turn there it's got angles this deck i'll give it that okay swinging with three attackers petty theft on the skyclave apparition gets us a 3-3 token go to blockers block here block here hopefully trade three threes hey that worked we're alive <laughs> we're alive well opponent's looking to cast spells are we dead skyclave apparition okay annoying but okay takes out one of our guys go to our turn karuga draw two cards peacekeeper so let's play hallowed fountain tapped pass the turn there swings in double exalted bird block with my quizali they bounce off each other cast season pyromancer that's not what i wanted to see on this board oh this is bad Ugh. 
It's going to help them so much. One token. Yeah. Weesh. Hopefully they didn't draw a bolt. Oh, they're tapping for red. No. They're untapping for red. They're tapping for green. Birds of paradise. Okay. Go to my turn. Solitude. Let's go to second main. No attacks. Play the windswept heath. Pass the turn. Man, I'm really hoping that's not something bad. Fury. Okay. But Fury can only take out one of our things. Four damage to Karuga. So what if I solitude my own Karuga? I gain five life, which then means I can crack the windswept heath and run out the brazen borrower. All right. Solitude. Solitude eats my own Karuga. Back up to six. No attacks. How interesting. Let's crack windswept heath. Get ourselves a planes. Cast brazen borrower. Go to my turn. The solitude. Oh, that's so good. So one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three. So we can anointed peacekeeper another fury, maybe? Yeah. Uh, cost two more. Season pyro, maybe? All right. Anointed peacekeeper. Angrath's Marauders. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Well, I guess we're naming Angrath's Marauders. Orders. And yeah, we're passing the turn there. Suppose we could have attacked with the Brazen Borrower. Planes from our opponent. No attacks. All right. In the end step, I am just straight up hard casting Solitude, taking out their Fury. They're up to 17. Go to my turn. Run out my Chancellor of the Annex, which is an amazing flying defender. <laughs> Go to combat. Swing in with Brazen Borrower. They take it down to 14. Pass it there. Raise the Verge Thicket. So their only card in hand is the Marauders. They pass to us. Leyline Binding is amazing. All right, let's go to combat. Attack them for five in the air. They take it down to nine. Pass the turn there. Mountain. Oh, they're going to cast the Marauders now. They cast a very expensive Marauders. They have one mana up for the Chancellor. Uh, but that means they tapped all of their Flyers. Can I win here? I think I can. So eight is getting in completely unopposed. And they're going to block six. Six, nine, and I only need to get him with one more. So Leyline Binding, target the Skyclave Apparition, get ourselves a token, go to my turn, another anointed peacekeeper, but it doesn't matter. We attack with everything. <laughs> <laughs> All right, opponent, you, you do your blocks. <laughs> oh, we ground them out. All right, I am super pumped about that. Round three. Alrighty, we've won the die roll. Let's go first and reveal our Karuga. Hmm. I'm gonna keep off the power of the Leyline Bindings. Let's lead with Spara's Headquarters. Pass the turn there. Island. Oh dear. If this is Control, we're in trouble. If it's Merfolk, we might be okay. Planes. Pass. Another Island. Okay. Okay, it is Merfolk. Tide Shaper. That might be a problem. So they're gonna turn this into an Island. Okay. So it is an Island. Plane Cycle Timeless Dragon. Let's get the Savi Triome. Go to our turn. So I could play Planes and then just straight up Sky Clay of apparition this thing which i think is probably for the best no let's play temple garden tapped and see if we can get him with a quasali so currently we have three types it reduces it by three which makes it cost three okay still reasonable instant speed o-ring okay yeah, let's pass Mutavolt, Kira, sure, swings in. Well, Quasali ambusher, come on down. Block the tide shaper. Bye bye. See you later. Okay, Solitude. So we need to run out Triome. Do we win by attacking here? I think so. So we'll swing in for two. Pass. Lord of Atlantis. Okay, other merfolk have Island Walk. Pumping up the Muta Vault. Okay. So I think I take it. Do I? I could go. I could go Leyline Binding on that. Leyline Binding on that. It doesn't seem ridiculous. Leyline Binding, target Kira. Leyline Binding, target Kira. Go to my turn. Plains Skyclave Apparition. Take out the Lord of Atlantis. Go to combat. Attack for two. Take it down to 16. Pass the turn there. Silvergill Adept, revealing a Lord of Atlantis in hand. Okay. Lord of Atlantis comes down. Arid Misa. Swing in for two. They take it. Yeah, we'll just pass it there. Another copy of Lord of Atlantis. Okay, getting dicey. Well, let's try for the solitude. Do you have the counter spell? Doesn't look like it. Target the Lord of Atlantis that's not attacking. Do I block the other one? Sure. Merfolk Trickster. Okay, taps my solitude. So I'm not gaining life, but it's still a 3-2. All right, happy with that. Let's crack the Arid Mesa. Hallowed Fountain tapped. Anointed Peacekeeper could be interesting. See what they've got going on. Get Karuga to hand. Anointed Peacekeeper, or Dalian Hexcatcher. So it is a Lord. I mean, yeah, I'll name that. Get Karuga to hand. And then I think we're going to be drawing a few cards, guys. Do I attack? Not this turn. Pass it there. Aether Vile. Okay. 
No attacks. That's what I like to see. Planes is cool. Let's run out the Karuga. Draw a bunch of cards. It's five cards drawn. Very nice. Um, I think it's fetch land. Go. Do we attack now? We could with the Peacekeeper. It does have vigilance. Let's go for it. Locking with the Silvergill. Okay. Flashing in the Hexcatcher. Sure. Because you want to trade, but I don't want you to trade because I can evoke a Solitude getting rid of another Peacekeeper. Ah, uh, yes, 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 yes. Aha. <laughs> Oh, I do love a good rage quit. That is an entire match scooped. Oh, oh, so good. All right, this this Karuga deck's got a couple of legs. I, I like it. Alrighty, Bant Karuga Taxes. Uh, I'm actually kind of in love with this list. Definitely more of a casual list. We're only taking it through the casual stuff for now. But hey, a deck where I get to play Chancellor, Solitude, and Quasali Ambusher all at once is pretty great. Anointed Peacekeeper is just an amazing card. That tax of taxing two and also on abilities is just backbreaking sometimes and i think it would be even better if we had a deck with it could run aether vial this list can't ving windmare i think we took it out a lot of the time it's okay it's not great it's no thalia could easily become something else but i'm really happy with how it's performing the mana base might be able to be improved slightly uh one more triome or even i think a black red a black or a red shock land uh would certainly help the Leyline bindings go off a bit more, but I never felt like we were lacking in removal, even against the taxes deck that we, we lost to. Firstly, I'm cursed. I will forever lose the mirror match. But secondly, we, you know, we were close. You know, they, they were good games. Uh, overall, what's the record on this list? Actually, I'm going to check. So this is the only list I've played on the new MTGO client. And what do we got? We got 15 games and we've won 10 with two draws. Yeah, I'm I'm really happy with that. For, for a very casual deck that you might just want to play with with friends or maybe take to F and M just to troll some people, it's pretty good. And I think and I think the more abilities Wizards Prince like Channel, like Quasali Ambusher, like Evoke with the Solitude and Adventure, you know, they're gonna keep testing that space. And I do think it makes Karuga more appealing as it goes on. I mean, our sideboard isn't even terrible. I thought this deck was going to be awful, but we actually, you know, we have no turn one plays, but we do have turn two plays. And from there we can curve out very well. So while I do think this is kind of fun and janky, especially in the taxes shell, which is our, which I always like to test with, I do think that maybe, maybe not soon, but one day Karuga is gonna be broken. It drew us five cards in a game with a deck that's not great. And I think it just goes to show that as the formats change, as new cards get put in, every companion's going to be broken. And I mean that. I think every single companion at some point is going to be broken and it's going to need to be banned. And I would love it if they would just preemptively remove the companions so we don't have months of it just being poor, repetitive gameplay. But until they do, this deck's a lot of fun. I've had a lot of fun playing it. I hope you've had a lot of fun watching it. It's good to be back. Thank you all so much for checking in on me. It really means a lot. And hey, until next time, everybody, have fun.